It's 6 o'clock in time for an update on the news from Bob's Body. I'm your news anchor. My name is Bob. Let's go first to an update on Bob's brain. Here is our science editor, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Earlier this evening, Bob's ears heard the gospel of Jesus Christ loud and clear. Bob has also heard a clear invitation by the pastor to come forward and make a public acknowledgement of his decision. All sound levels and light levels are optimal for Bob to process the incoming data. Bob's brain is now working at maximum capacity to calculate what the gospel means to Bob back to you, Bob. Let's switch right away to Bob's legs and our action reporter, Bob. There is currently no activity in Bob's legs or feet. Bob Bob's backside seems to be glued to the pew. We'll update you the moment we see any activity here in Bob's legs, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Let's switch to our lifestyle reporter in Bob's heart, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Very clearly, the gospel message has had an effect on Bob's heart. Surface measurements of Bob's heart show that deep down inside of Bob's heart, he knows that Jesus is God incarnate, and that he should change his lifestyle to include the creator of the universe. But as we have reported several times in the past, Bob's heart only gets one vote in the democratic process of Bob's body. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. We seem to be getting some activity from Bob's head. Let's switch quickly to our science editor, Bob. Thanks, Bob. What Bob is looking at now is the altar of the church. Bob is watching several other people in the congregation go forward to publicly acknowledge their decision to accept Jesus as their savior. Bob is watching the process with great interest. Now, back to, oh, wait, yes, indeed, Bob Bob definitely nodded his head just now, indicating that Bob is favorably disposed towards salvation. Back to you, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Let's see if there is any other motor activity in Bob's body, as we check in with our action reporter in Bob's legs. Bob, Bob, if there has been a decision to make any kind of commitment, it is not evident down here in Bob's legs. I'm at a loss to explain why all systems in Bob's body are go for salvation, but Bob is still sitting on the launch pad. Back to you, Bob. Well, Bob seems to be at odds with himself. He seems to be favorably disposed towards salvation but he's not doing anything about it. Let's get an update from Bob's heart and our lifestyle editor, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Amazing as it sounds, Bob's heart which was the first part of his body to encourage Bob's conversion, is now the source of his hesitation. Bob's new lifestyle, though it would include eternal life, would also carry a rather weighty downside. Bob now has to admit that his present lifestyle is somehow lacking before he can accept the new life in Christ. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Let's switch to Bob's brain and our science editor, Bob. Thanks, Bob. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a real cliffhanger going here. Bob's eyes and ears have just received messages from the pastor of the front of the church that time is running out for this altar call. Bob's brain is working at near overload at this point. He seems to be doing an unusually large number of calculations for a decision that has only two answers, yes or no. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. We switched you immediately back to Bob's heart for a news flash. Here's our lifestyle reporter, Bob. Bob. We now know that the quandary in Bob's heart was much less about admitting that his present lifestyle was lacking, than about how much he will have to give up in order to be saved. Fortunately, the pastor's last invitation to the altar included an explanation that God would take Bob just as he is now. Bob's heart is decidedly lighter now than just a moment ago. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Let's switch immediately to our action reporter in Bob's legs for an update. Bob. Thanks. Bob and, yes, action is the byword here. Bob's bottom is now off the pew. And Bob's legs are walking. No, they're running down the aisle toward the altar. Back to you, Bob. And there you have it. A moment in Bob's life on one that Bob will never forget. Bob has just crossed over from death to life. That's our update from Bob's body for tonight. Good night. Based on a play by Bob Snook. Conditions for use. Do not sell any part of this script, even if you rewrite it. Pay no royalties, even if you make money from the performance. You may reproduce and distribute this freely, but all copies must contain this statement.